Hey all, Mike here. And one type of shoe that I have not covered on the channel yet is the ones that you wear inside the home, and that's slippers and moccasins, or as some folks call them, house shoes. So that's what we're covering in today's video, doing everything from material sourcing to some great American-made brands where you can pick up an awesome pair of slippers and moccasins, as well as some big brands in the industry to potentially avoid since they're doing a lot of their manufacturing elsewhere. So we have links to all of our written research on allamerican.org in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and get started. In terms of material sourcing, there's really a lot of different materials that slippers and moccasins can be made from. So it really just depends on what you're looking at as to whether or not there are some good US sourcing options. So it can be made from everything from cotton and fleece to a variety of synthetic materials to leather. A lot of them have rubber soles on the bottom. So there's a lot of disparate types of materials that can be used uh, in each pair. There are some good US sourcing options for most of those materials though. So there are some brands out there that are 100% made in the USA, everything from material sourcing to assembly. Uh, but there's also a lot of brands that are doing assembly and some of their sourcing in the US and grabbing a few raw materials from other countries. We're gonna cover a little bit of both in this video. So let's dive right into these great American made brands. First up is Russell Moccasin. These folks are based in Berlin, Wisconsin, and make some super durable leather moccasins in both a low top and a high top version. They have some really smooth but tough leather soles, and they use bull hide in some of their soles as well. Next up is Queen City Footwear. These guys are based in Williston, Vermont. I recently did a spotlight video on their sneakers, but a lot of their shoe lineup is house shoes. They have high tops, low tops, and what they call mules, which is basically just a slipper without a back on it, and everything is made from super soft but durable leather. They source some of their leather from other countries, but they do have a couple of varieties of their house shoes where they are sourcing US leather. Look for the Horween leather house shoes in their online store. Everything that goes into that shoe is US sourced. Next up is Steger Mucklucks. These guys are based in Eli, Minnesota, and they make some great everyday house shoes and just footwear in general from really durable moose hide. They come in really earthy tones, which really shows kind of the natural color of the leather, which I really love. And all of them have really durable rubber soles, so you can wear them both inside the house and outside. If you're in a really cold environment, I highly recommend these guys. They have great insulation on the inside of the mucklucks as well. Next up is Atasca Leather Goods. Itasca Leather Goods is based in Lake George, Minnesota, and they make men's leather moccasins. Their uppers are made from full grain cowhide, and they have a really durable rubber sole as well. So similar to some of the other options that I mentioned, you can wear them both inside the house and outside. They're a little bit more on the expensive side, but from what I've found, you get what you pay for, and that is durability. These shoes are going to last you a really long time. Next up is Wasakig Moccasins. These guys are based in Dexter, Maine, and make some great leather moccasins for both men and women. They use a mix of bull hide as well as deer hide leather in all of their moccasins, and everything has a triple bottom sole for extra durability. Overall, I found these to be a nice mix of breathability as well as keeping your feet warm and everything is hand-stitched. And the last American-made brand that I'll feature in this video is Footskins. Footskins is based in Spring Grove, Minnesota, and they kind of play the middle ground between a house shoe and a loafer that you can wear out. You can wear them around the house or they're pretty passable for a casual night out too. So go check them out. They're super durable and have some really nice designs. All right, now let's move on to some popular brands that make slippers and moccasins and where they are actually made. First up is Minnetonka's. This really popular slippers and moccasins brand is probably in a lot of American closets, but unfortunately, pretty much all of their slippers are either made in China and some in the Dominican Republic as well. Next up is Uggs. Uggs is actually an Australian brand that really took the world by storm with their very recognizable slippers or moccasins or shoes or whatever you want to call them. Unfortunately, pretty much all of their shoes are made in China or other Asian countries. According to our analysis, about 96% of their total shoe inventory is produced in Asia. I think they have some models that are made in Australia and New Zealand, but other ones, like I said, made in China, Vietnam, and the Philippines as well, and nothing made in the US. 
And lastly is L.L. Bean. Contrary to popular belief that a lot of their stuff is made in Maine, it's pretty much only their original duck boots that are made in Maine. Pretty much everything else that they offer is imported, and that includes their slippers and moccasins. Alrighty, y'all, that's it for this one. Drop a comment below if you have any questions, and as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.